sell the outcome to get the income. I came up with this phrase the other day. I want to tell you more about how it's going to help you sell and profit more. Welcome to another episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. I'm your host, Alan Berg, speaker, author, sales trainer, website reviewer, here to help you and your wedding and event business sell more, profit more, and have more fun doing it. Enjoy this episode. I come up with these phrases every once in a while. Uh, This one was actually inspired by an email from Staples, the office uh, superstore, with uh, the words income and outcome in the subject line. And I just kind of rephrased it. You know, if you want to make the income, you have to sell the outcome or sell the outcome to get the income or any variation of that. And it really comes down to something that I've been speaking about for years, which is selling the results of what you do, not the services and products. People need the services and products that you're selling, but they need them for a reason. And you want to get to the why. Uh, Any of you who have followed Simon Sinek, S-I-N-E-K, he's got a a book and actually one of the most watched TED Talks ever called Start With Why. Uh, Get to the why of why do they need what they need. So some of you have heard me speak about this before, where if you walk into a hardware store and you buy a drill bit, it's not because you needed a drill bit. You needed to make a hole for which you needed a drill bit. But why do you need to make a hole? Well, I need to put something on that hole, in that hole, through that hole or whatever it is. Okay, well, why do you need to do that? So let's say you got a new refrigerator and it had an ice maker in it and water in the door, but your old one didn't. So you need to run a water line there. Well, you need a drill bit to make a hole to run the water line. Why? so that my ice maker can make ice. Why? So that when I need ice, I can just walk up to the door of my brand new refrigerator and chunk, 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 I have ice. So when somebody comes to you, they don't need a photographer and they don't need pictures. What do they actually need? What are you the drill bit for? You are there so that someone weeks, months, years later can relive that wedding. Actually, I'll give you a great example. Last night, I went to dinner with some friends and my wife and I are sitting there and our friend's son who had gotten married October 30th of last year, I'm recording this now in May, and they gave us some photos of us at the wedding. So the photographer was there to capture these images and one of those results, one of those why is so that our friends who we've known for a very long time were able to give us pictures of my wife and I at their son's wedding. The photographer had to be there for that. The drill bit needed to be hired for that. But the end result, now my wife and I can look at these pictures and share these pictures as we did with our family. That's the why. So when somebody comes to you, you wanna find out why are they bringing people together? Why is your service important to them? And more specifically, what are the results that you can help provide for them? What are the outcomes? sell the outcomes if you want to get the income. I found in my business that if I focus on the money, I don't make the sale as often because I'm focusing on the wrong thing. When somebody comes to me, I just the other day, someone came to me about speaking for their association, group of wedding professionals in a particular area. I didn't say, hey, it's going to cost you this. I said, tell me about your group. How do you become a member? Who are the members? What other education events have you done or have you not done? Why is education important, not only to you as the group, but to your members? What are we trying to accomplish with this? And then I'm gonna talk about the different speeches that I could do, the different topics and things. We got to that, but we got to that later. They came to me because they had a need. They came to me because they wanted me to fulfill that need. I wanted to find out the end results that they're looking for. And then we talked money down the line. But first we talked about what was important to them. Now, does that help them get excited about having me come? Yeah, but they reached out to me in the first place. So they already thought that I might be a good fit. In this particular case, I might have been the only one they reached out to. But they're talking about other education events. And what they told me specifically is, you know, we thought, well, gee, Let's go for a reach here. If we can get Alan Berg, let's get Alan Berg. But they had other people in mind. Well, I want them to hire me. I also know that I'm probably a lot more money than the other people they're looking to hire. And yet we're still talking about it. 
They want my results. They have to hire me. So what are the outcomes that someone's looking for when they come to you? This is what you want to be talking about. You want to be asking them better questions. What are the most important things when you think about your florist? What are the most important things when you think about your officiant or your celebrant? What are the most important things for your transportation or your invitations or your planner or your DJ or your band or your photographer, your videographer, your dress? What are the most important things for your venue and caterer? What have you seen at other weddings? You definitely want it yours. And then they tell you something, say, now why is that important? Why do you want that? We want to get to the why. And we want to get to the why not. What have you seen at other weddings you don't want at yours? Ooh, yeah, I heard about that. Why do you not want that? And they'll tell you, and now you're getting more to the guts of that. Again, don't be selling drill bits. Be selling the outcome, the complete outcome of that. The income follows if you're selling the outcomes. Because if you want to commoditize what you do, you make a bullet point list of the services you're going to provide, and then you tell them how much. And then they'll compare that list to someone else, and that list will look pretty darn similar to somebody else's list. And now the cheaper price very often wins. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. They'll look at it and go, huh, that doesn't sound like enough money for what we're looking for, the kind of results we want. So they want to actually pay more money. Had a consultation this afternoon with a client, and we raised her rates. She's not making enough profit at the rates that she's doing. I said, well, you can't stay in business that way. What you need to do is raise the rates, but talk more about the outcomes. Have better pictures showing the outcomes. She actually just updated her website. We talked about already having better pictures, better calls to action, more testimonials that speak to the outcomes because people are looking for people that are going to provide outcomes for them that they can't get anywhere else. And when they want your outcome, they have to hire you to get the result. There's a book called The Challenger Sale. And the challenger sale is challenging the expectations that the customer came to you with and saying, hey, I have other things that you haven't asked me about, but these are some results you might want to have. And you're challenging their results and having them go not, oh, that's exactly what I want. Because if you provide them with exactly what they want, you haven't added anything to it. But if they go, whoa, you can do that? Now you're providing them with results they didn't even know that they could have. So what you want to do is, yes, you have to tell them the products and services that you're selling, but get to the why of why are these things important. Why is it important that you have security as part of your package if you're a venue? Why is it important that cleanup is included if you're the caterer or the venue? Right? So their friends and family don't have to do it. Right? Don't just tell them what. Tell them why. If you want to make the income, you need to be selling the outcome. So look at your marketing pieces. Look at your packages. Look at your website. If it's a lot of what without a lot of why, somebody's going to sell that what cheaper. So add to that. Change the wording and talk about the outcome of hiring you specifically. And now it's going to look more unique. I hear, I hear people asking me all the time, how do I show what's different about me? And then I go to their website and their marketing pieces. It looks kind of like everybody else's. Yeah, beautiful weddings. Bullet point list of things, there's your contact information. Looks kind of like everybody else's. You have to be different because you are different. You have to show what's different about you that's in your photos, that's in your testimonials, and in your wording because you get to write those words. Don't write, I do, I do, we do, we do. It's, you will have this, your guests will have this, you will experience this, and now you're selling the outcomes. So if you want to make the income, sell the outcome. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Wedding Business Solutions Podcast. Full transcripts of this and every episode are available on my website at allenberg.com. And if you have any questions about anything in this episode or any of the episodes, or you'd like to make a suggestion for a future topic or a guest for one of my dialogue episodes, you can email me directly at allen at weddingbusinesssolutions.com. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, post a review if your platform allows it, and if you don't get email updates of the latest episodes, as well as upcoming workshops and masterclasses that I have, you can join at connectwithallenberg.com. I look forward to seeing you on a future episode. Thanks.